At first, this kept you apart, and then that kept you apart. But you're meant to be together. Lady Mary Crow. Mr. Darcy, but he's very full of himself. But her sister Elizabeth is very agreeable. Probably tolerable, I dare say. She's not handsome enough to tempt me. I've been studying the story of Andromeda. Her father was King Cepheus, and he decided the only way to appease the gods was to sacrifice his eldest daughter to a hideous sea monster. So what do you recommend? To encourage affection. But the sea monster didn't get her, did he? No. Dancing. Even if one's partner is barely tolerable. I doubt Cousin Mary and I are destined to be close friends. I doubt we should ever speak again. You won't marry him there, will you? What, marry a sea monster? <laughs> I wouldn't dance with him for all of Derbyshire, let alone the miserable heart. I'll find mine on the right of your side. You really like an argument. We should see more of each other. And I'll find mine on the right of your side. It would be most inconvenient. I just want to lose him for eternity. Do you love me enough to spend your life with me? So this is your opinion of me. So I've ruined everything. Thank you for explaining so fully. You've shown me I've been living in a dream. And it's time to return to real life. I think we're quite close to Pemberley. Mr. Darcy's home. Matthew's on leave. He's coming tonight with Isabel. I suppose you didn't want him when he wanted you. Now it's the other way around. Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife?